Hi, everyone. I am Lydia Sequera, and I've had the privilege of working as Kids Help Phones Director of Service Programs and Innovation Implementation. As Mariah said, I've been here for the, the last nine months. A brief overview of Kids Help Phone for those of you who may have not heard. Uh, we are Canada's only 24-7 uh, e-mental health service offering free, confidential, multilingual support to young people. We've been a safe place for young people to reach out to for over 35 years now. And young people can reach out through phone and text uh, and chat, message forums, or through resources on our website. I really focus on uh, successfully engaging young people within the design, the build, um, and the delivery of our services and our programs. Uh, I'm interested in learning about how we can grow and scale our programs um, and also just ensuring that any new innovation that we put forward can be implemented in a meaningful um, and a thoughtful way alongside young people. This is just a great opportunity to join in on this national conversation that's happening um, and really to ensure that young people all across Canada know that Kids Help Phone is here for them. I would also encourage young people uh, listening or caring adults with young people in their lives to uh, spread the message that at Kids Help Phone, um, no problem is too big or too small here. If you actually check out our social media accounts today, you'll see a video with some amazing uh, members of our National Youth Council. They're reminding us all that of this important message that, uh, that James said, that you're not alone in any of this and there is help so you can reach out. And I think just personally, I'm just honored to be part of this conversation to stand in solidarity with, with all of you against bullying and, and striving to just foster environments of kindness and acceptance and inclusion through both work, but also just in my personal life. With regards to how people can access services at Kids Help Phone, so we really recognize that every young person is unique and so is their mental health. Our approach to service delivery is really to connect young people with the most effective service that they want and they need at that specific point in time. Recognizing that this might evolve from day to day or from minute to minute, and that's okay. When Kids Help Phone started about 35 years ago, we started solely as a telephone service. But then since then, we've really evolved tremendously, I'd say, if you visit our website, so kidshelpphone.ca, you will be able to kind of quickly look through. We have a banner of all of our offerings and you'll be able to understand just the breadth of all of the services and the programs that we have here to help young people. We have everything from mental health videos and articles, tools, games, and so self-directed activities for kids, for teens, for adults. We have a feel out loud community creator space. So this is a space where young people can explore and share their creative content. We have a peer-to-peer -peer community. So this is a support forum for, for young people. It's real life stories where young people can share their story, connect with others that are like them or different from them, support each other digitally. And so you can visit peer-to-peer.kidshelpphone -to, -peer to access this community. We also offer text-based supports with trained volunteer crisis responders. This you can access through, I'm seeing it all on the, the live stream as well, through Texting Connect to 686868. And then finally, our longest uh, running service is, is counseling. And you can reach our incredible uh, professional counseling team, both through the phone 24 seven and through live chat during certain hours as well. We have counselors who speak French and English, as well as interpretation services that are available for counseling in over 100 different languages. We also have, for, for young people who want to basically find help and support within their own communities, we have a, a tool called Resources Around Me. So this provides young people with vetted resources to step out of the kids' help phone uh, system of care into community-based programs. And I think we've seen that this has been an important safety factor 
in today's world of you know unregulated resources and services that we have. What I wanted to highlight is the concept of just literacy, mental health literacy, understanding more about yourself, understanding about others and your peers. We have a program called Counselor in the Classroom that might actually be of interest to, to all of the people listening here today. It's an incredible program that promotes this discussion of mental health and well-being within young people. And it's available to students from grades four to 12 across the country. And classes that participate in this are actually able to have a live video conversation with one of our kids help phone counselors. And they can get a better understanding about, you know, mental health, about things like bullying and concepts like why people do bully and where that comes from and where that behavior might might arise from, how to cope with these behaviors from the other side. Also, as a bystander, how do you actually deal with this from a bystander perspective if you're not the one being bullied or do, or doing the bullying? So they are able to kind of chat very openly with our counselors, learn about just examples of calls that our counselors uh, do receive with regards to a whole bunch of different issues and, and struggles that young people are going through. And hopefully uh, by the end of that, that program, they're able to leave feeling more confident in being able to seek support when and when uh, and if they need it. A counselor in the classroom, I would um, really encourage everyone to look through that. Um, yeah, I just, I guess, uh, thank you so much for, for having us as part of this conversation. Um, and uh, I know I've said it before, but we just want every young person uh, across Canada to know that they can reach out for support, no matter how big or s how small they think their challenge is. Um, call us or text us um, or hop on our website and, and check out the, the multiple different ways that we can help you. Um, and I think just, you know, let's all be more mindful of how we can create this world that is um, safe for everyone and where everyone feels valued, um, whether that is through our actions, our words, our digital footprint, um, or really anything that we do.